only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, you know, for a late July evening, it's a gorgeous night across the area. Humidity levels remain low, temperatures quite comfy across the area. Have a look outside tonight as we look high atop the Radisson, back across the Ohio River into downtown Cincinnati. And again, the party continues to go on down there at Paul Brown Stadium. Temperatures very comfortable across the area. Most of us currently in the low 70s right now. We're at 71 degrees at the airport. Look at that dew point number of 56. Again, when the dew point is lower, when there's not that much humidity or moisture in the air, even though it's a little warm during the daytime hours, it still feels very comfortable at night. And once the sun sets, temperatures tend to fall off fairly efficiently. Now, as we head into the weekend here, we are going to see those humidity levels rise. More on that here in just a moment. First things first, though, we do have an air quality advisory in effect for tomorrow. This is for the greater Cincinnati metro area, Butler, Warren, Hamilton, Claremont counties, Boone, Kenton, Campbell counties, across parts of northern Kentucky. That's simply saying that air quality will impact those of you that are a little on the sensitive side. For example, if you have any ailments that are a result of allergies or even asthma, you may want to spend less time outdoors tomorrow. Now, some of the things that you can do to help, for example, refuel your vehicle after 6 p.m., of course, maybe turn down that home thermometer down just a couple of degrees or two there. And, of course, maybe if you're doing any lawn work, for example, you might want to get that lawn more out after 6. That's because we're concerned a little bit about the quality of the air as it results to ozone. and that that takes some coordination with the sun, and, and basically, once the sun goes down, air quality won't be quite a concern across the area. So here's your headlines for tonight. It's certainly going to be warmer as we head into the upcoming weekend. Also, humidity levels are going to gradually climb across the area so that by the time a frontal system moves in here late in the weekend, that Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, we'll see the threat for some showers and thunderstorms across the area. Temperatures tonight, you can see here, again, with those low humidity levels, generally falling into the 60s, still hanging on to the 70s, kind of in the urban heat island, if you will. Mason at 71, 71 here in Cincinnati, 72. To in Florence. Everyone else, once you get out into the burbs, generally down into the 60s. High pressure, that continues to be the dominating weather feature even as we head into the upcoming weekend. However, as that high begins to slide off towards the east, those winds are beginning to turn southerly. And yes, in time, that is going to bring in more muggy air across the area. Look at our dew points in the 50s across much of the Ohio Valley. Climbs into the 60s once you get down around uh, the Louisville area. But farther south towards the Mississippi River Valley, St. Louis, Paducah in the low 70s. While it is going to turn muggier over the weekend, I don't think it's going to be quite as tropical or those humidity levels are going to be as oppressive as they were late last week or really for the past couple of weeks around here. So tomorrow morning, expect plenty of sunshine. And much like today, tomorrow will really be a carbon copy of today. It will heat up fairly quickly during the afternoon hours. There will be a lot of sunshine. However, I want you to pay attention off towards the north here. You see these green blobs beginning to develop? As we head into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, that's a cold front or at least a cool front that's going to drop towards the Ohio River. And notice, I do think showers and thunderstorms will be a pretty good bet Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. And those will probably even linger into the day on Monday when I expect widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms to redevelop once again. So let's enjoy kind of the comfy weather tonight and the somewhat comfy weather on, Sunday, on Saturday. 65 for a low tonight, clear skies and pleasant conditions. And then as we get into your day on Saturday, some hot sun, again, a smidge bit muggier, but by late July standards, it's actually still fairly tolerable. 87 for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner. 68 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, temperatures will climb into the 80s and then into the middle to upper 80s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. There's your scattered showers and thunderstorms Sunday into Monday. And early next week, temperatures may actually peak out close to 90 degrees by the time we get towards the middle of the week before it turns more comfortable towards the second half of the week. All right, Kev, thank you. So